and tricky combo there. And uh, so we're starting Go to break through it, and we actually oh, might be able to bring all the top eight dash uh, into the, uh, into the Oh, very nice loop into Ultra. E equalizes. Oh, what happened there? So the AE DLC, I believe, comes out June 7th. June 7th, yes. I believe that is correct. June 7th? June. June, June 7th. June. Jesus, it's like eight, you have Asian Tourette's. <laughs> Oh, oh good beat by Zelo blocking up, blocking no, blocks overhead. Uh, All right, Coffee definitely feeling his rhythm now, being much more aggressive, deciding to back off. Oh, very nice little jump fierce again. Coffee, very good spacing with his neutral jump fierces. Again, you also use dash punches to blow through Dudley's wake up pressure. Again with the noodle jump fierce. Oh, he's a jumping yeah, man. Three so monsters. Be Let's big know damage. if, uh, if on June or uh, May 28th is the Mor uh, Memorial Day weekend. We don't have a calendar in front of us. Calendar in front of us. Oh, very nice pick on Fermin Ultra. Coffee has Zeus on the ropes. Whoa, crosses and em empty jump cross up. RTB Coffee takes it. Sorry about this, we're trying to figure out the schedule for the next, uh, yeah. Alright, so I am not sure who we have coming up next on the mainstream. Ah, I'm cut off. Damn it. Ah! I am back in there, as in the words of Mike Ross. We've got Wicked versus... Question mark. No, question mark, mark is not an actual name. So we've got uh, uh, ROTV Wicked versus ROTV Fuddle. The battle has begun. So you are our returning Super Street Fighter 4 champion, right? How was how did you feel the competition was at the last event? Um, I just played my whole crew. <laughs> you only played your whole crew? Are you serious? Yeah. Was it really just your crew? Jesus. Alright, that's really not good. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, that's kind of what happens when, you yeah, know, like, a large event. chunk of the people that are really good come from the same group. They're going to end up playing each other a lot. How do you feel about the uh, competition here today? Um, it's kind of the same, a little, but I'm playing other people this time, so that's good. Hey, so I was noticing uh, early on against Zelos as Dudley, you were, you were playing, you were, you were, like, your other matches, you are playing, like, really aggressive, but oh. notice against Zelos, you were kind of slow playing it for a while. Because oh, because against Dudley, you really have to respect his frame traps. Definitely, too. definitely, because All his, his frame traps are a lot better than yours, yeah. so, yeah, I noticed, but then I noticed that you're starting to get comfortable with your spacing, especially with Neutral Jump Fierce. You're yeah, hitting a lot of those. I was really taking advantage of that. Definitely. I mean, you got like you hit like nine or ten of those. I lost count, right. but 
But yeah, that definitely good stuff. Yeah, I saw. I, I, I like the adjustment you made at like yeah. match two. You definitely adjusted and got your got your aggro back. Yeah, because he was playing a little aggressive at first. So definitely, kinda, definitely. Kinda but yeah, my, but yeah, but I mean, when Dudley hits you with a jump right now, that's like half your life. So. So you are team members with uh, all the RTB guys and now, in particular, RTB Fuddle, right? So w what's his story? I mean, like you know, there's obviously, you know, he, he, he's at uh, it, well, not a disadvantage, but I mean, he's got a story, right? <laughs> yeah. He's just like uh, physically uh, handicapped. I don't, I don't know what the situation is, but that's just how it is. All right. Well, he, you know, physically handicapped or not, he's actually doing, he's doing extremely well in the tournament today. So. All right, thanks for your time, man. All right, so yeah, the match, the names are wrong right now, but uh, we have ROTB Fuddle versus ROTB Wicked, and uh, yeah, ROTB Fuddle uh, is is playing uh, Bison versus ROTB Wicked's Able. Oh, never mind, the names are switched. I'll be right back. Alright, so ROTB Fodo running Able against uh, against Bison. Doing a very good job round one. Oh, very nice. Step kick into uh, the Tornado Throw mix up. Bison is throwing in the corner. Bad spot. Able opts to back out. Alright, so uh, ROTB Wicked evens up the match. This is a uh, this is a uh, last round of first match. Oh, connects with the uh, change of direction hit confirmed. Again into tornado throw. He's gonna do it for the mix up. Oh, good teleport by Bison. Oh, it walks up throws to finish it out. We have ROTB Fuddle. Are you ready? All right, Wicked, often you're trying to run it back with uh, with Bison. Wicked being much more aggressive this time, having a lot more success with it. Oh, back dash into TT. Oh, a little bit early on the cross up. Grabs uh, able oh oh grabs ex tornado throw very good read standing round house beat the noodle jump opens up a tornado throw ex uh, second pressure get out of the pressure oh good punish on the uh, whip change of direction oh ex tornado throw on wake up. Oh. 
Abel stuck in the corner against Bison. Very bad spot. Oh, jumps back trying to bait the uh, EX Cycle Crusher. There it was. Oh, gets the EX Primera throw in return, though. Just needs chip. Oh, will this work? Oh, very nice. Jump back. Opens. Oh, whoa. Gets. Ends up getting the last part of uh, change of direction randomly. Buck the Knicks. Oh, grabs him out of the dash. So how about we uh, pay attention to the match? Well, Cause this I have been trying to commentate the match while you've been talking nonsense. So. Fight me. <laughs> so. All right, both players out of me. Oh, but Bison gets his. Oh, whoa, lots of Psycho Crusher pressure. Whoa, Ooh. again, the EX Psycho Crusher on Wake Up. All right, that makes it 1-1. One, one. Wicked ties it up at one apiece. Alright, so here's the last match on the set. Both players opting to stay with their characters. I, uh, how do you feel about this match? Uh, honestly, uh, I like Bison in this match. Um, I do too. His I, footsies I, are just way too strong for Abel. But, when, and once, but the thing is, once Abel gets that knockdown, it completely changes the. Right, because he, has no, he has no solid wake up option besides the EX second. Right, and without meter, that's, 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 that's a tall order, right? See, right now he's eating nothing but Tornado Throw mix up. Now he has that bar, but it's still. A risky proposition to try to EX cycle crush her out. Right. Oh, again, EX tornado throw. Very Death good reaction. Kick, actually, I think it beats low medium. Uh, low forward. Um, at least, I don't know, I've, I've had mixed experience with it. Yeah, but so you generally don't use step kick outside of a pressure screen. Right. Able, so that's, that should be non issue. Uh, although, Bison stand roundhouse, once Able's in the corner, it makes it very hard for Able to get out. Alright, so uh, uh, Fuddle takes a very convincing round. Both players have us uh, working on their first bar. Abel, very dependent on the uh, EX tornado throw mix up and uh, yeah, EX roll to get out of versus uh, Bison. Definitely. Because um, I, I think, I'm not totally positive about this, but I think he can, if he does it right, he can actually grab an EX cycle pressure on wake up. Really? No, I, d I was not aware of that. So. But um, yeah, a lot of I, see, I I know a lot of players do like to save their EX for rolls to try and roll out of the corner, Definitely. especially against Bison. So, oh, and Wicked right, takes so a we're convincing down to, round. We're down to the final round of the set. Very very back and forth matches. One player dominating or the other player dominating. Right. Again, opens up with ah, good. Opson not finish it this time. I would say he's been he's been getting lazy with uh, not hip confirming his. his oh, hey, look, we're in the middle there. I didn't even see that. Oh yeah, yeah, we've been doing that for a while. <laughs> Shows you how, how, uh, how much I pay Good throw break. Good block. Again, bad place for Abel to be. That roundhouse is going to make his life real hard. Gets out. He's out of the corner now. He can start working that mix-up. Good standing light kick for Poke. Yeah, unfortunately, I think, I think Abel, Abel loses the footsie game very yeah. hard in this match. I think people do underestimate his standing light kick, though. It's got a, actually a pretty considerable amount. Yeah, but that's all he has. You, like, it doesn't yeah. lead to anything. Oh, yeah, all you do is mash it. It doesn't really do anything. It's not like Rose or something where you can you know, throw yeah. those pokes out. It's not like Bison where it's ducking short leads into you know, his biggest damage. Although Abel on a tight spot right now, but Abel, full stocked uh, Ultra, very capable of making a comeback right here. Oh, is this it? Oh, no FADC. There it is. There it is. Will this hit? Yes, this will be very close. It'll do a lot of damage. Someone's got to do the able dance. <laughs> or the, the juice box the dance. The juice box dance. <laughs> yeah. All right, evens it up. Very important Oki setup Ooh, here. Ooh, that was close. Resets the situation. Uh, Bison in a big advantage right here. Oh, they walks. Oh, oh, very good read. Very Excellent good. set. That was a very good bait. 